Go flying, those devil lips that know so well the art of lying. And though I see the danger still, the flames grow higher. I know I must surrender to your kiss of fire. Just like a torch, you set the soul. In the early days of the 20th century, I must go on the longer road. 1913 to 1917, to be exact. On a few streets in a corner of the French quarter of New Orleans, next to the old Storyville red light district, a new wave of entertainment surfaced. Cabarets, theatres, bars and dance halls thrived around the central motif of the tango. These few blocks, in this magic moment, became known as the Tango Belt. Let me borrow, love me tonight, devil take tomorrow. I know that I must have your kiss, although it doomes me, though it consumes me, your kiss of fire. Since first I kiss you, my heart for sure is completely. If I'm a slave, then it's a slave I want to be. Don't pity me, don't pity me. Give me your lips, the lips you only let me borrow. Love me tonight, let the devil take tomorrow. I know that I must have your kiss, although it does me, though it consumes me. The kiss of fire. Ah, burn me. Women tango fiends to the number of 16 who were arrested by the police in the tango belt during the early hours of Thursday morning. The photograph of one of these picked up was found in the rogues gallery. She is Virginia Neely, suspected of being a confidence woman. The wholesale arrest of women who go from cabaret to cabaret to dance the tango and other steps is the beginning of a crusade just instituted by police superintendent Reynolds. I have received several complaints about men being touched by these women who frequent cabarets and as the holiday season is approaching, I am taking this step to rid the city of the dangerous ones, said the police chief Thursday.
chills and I remember the night when the Motley crew calling themselves the Milonga Tango Band, fresh from an appearance parish prison, held over several weeks for pimping, pickpocketing, and peddling music band by the Catholic Church, made their first appearance at the Black Ark. Everyone sat down and listened to a sound they had never heard before, and of course, they couldn't dance to it.
pretty weird music. Very foreign, <laughs> lascivious, sassy, even a little jazzy. Makes me feel more like the ghost of the tango future. I sure don't recognize that tune or even that sound. What on earth was that? I guess it really was the music of the tango future. And we even had some of the big headliners like Sophie Tucker and even Sarah Bernhardt. They were really great. Talk about characters. One night an immigrant from Genoa named Coco Lici, after a few bottles of red wine, stepped onto the bandstand feeling like a tenor, and unbeknownst to him, gave the band that famous name they became to be known as Orchestra Milonga. South America, like Francesco and Loretta, who were on the break from their, their dance engagement at Faubacus Cafe on Royal and Iberville. Then there was the Canadian menace, the lady from Buenos Aires, to match, to match wits with the locals, like El Guapo and La Pipa, Molonguita and Milongon, and, of course, Norma Wallace the first lady of the tango belt, and stellar, stellar citizen of New Orleans. 
And as a couple of the ladies on Canal Street have been known to call the famous next to last madam. <laughs> she must have left her hubby Pete Herman home tonight, because she's out on the town with her young boy toy, El Turco. <laughs> Now, Nama and her husband, Pete, they were a pretty hot couple. He had his club, the plantation, the black orchid. Upstairs, Nama had her girls. He was, he was a pretty famous fella. He was a bantamweight champion of the world. Twice. Got it. Lost it. Got it back again. And he had to quit because his eyesight was failing. I guess Nama, pretty, you know, she probably thought that was a pretty good thing because he couldn't really keep track of her and really see what she was doing. He does a dance. Mm. So, he couldn't really see everything she did. St. Charles kind of snooty up cameras. They said, no tangoing, no dancing in our place. They had the newspaper. So the other Farbachers, they said, hmm, we don't mind the tango. In fact, we really like it. So they started advertising the tango. And they brought our next dance team, Francesco and Loretta, to dance for the audiences that the original Farbachers. <laughs> Thank you. 
was another great rhythm way before the tango. Some say it's the granddaddy of the tango. It was another gumbo of a music and dance. It had some African, some European, a touch of Cuban, all coming together to form something tasty called the milonga. You knew it was good when the dances stomped so hard that the dirt flew off the floor. <laughs> Thank you. 
So, is it hot enough for y'all? Well, hang on, because as the night goes on, things get hotter. The liquor is flowing, the band is inciting a riot on the floor, the tango fiends are on the prowl. This joint could get busted right open. To top it all off, we even got a royalty ruling. But hey, if she's the queen of the tango bell, she better take a seat for tango's empress of the universe. Ladies and gentlemen, it is the proud privilege of Planet Tango to present its star attraction. Fresh from Buenos Aires, Ms. Gijamina Quiroga, and introducing Alberto Catala. <laughs>
single man in La Mariposa. And now we've got Guillermina and Alberto. So what do you think? I think it's only fair that we give the tango fiends a real show and dance a number together. You all like that? Good. sins, huh? And tonight, and every night, is made for the tango. 